Welcome to Siemens Smart Low Voltage Switchgear Quick Start Video Guide. The following will help you commission your Smart LVS system. If you have questions at any time during this video, please refer to your Siemens Quick Start Manual. Here's a quick look at the steps you'll take to get your system up and running. We'll review the Siemens Smart LVS schematic, perform a visual inspection, review equipment installation, and take a look at customer connections. We'll also walk through powering up the equipment, how to perform a system health check, and various customer configurations. Every Smart LVS shipment comes with a system schematic drawing that was created for that particular system configuration. A hard copy of this schematic can be found in the As Built Drawings package in the low voltage switch gear. You can also view an electronic version in the documentation folder on the HMI. To begin, open the remote HMI enclosure and take a look at the customer connection components, the OLM, network switch, and control power terminal blocks. Next, we move to the low voltage switch gear auxiliary compartment. This contains a second OLM network switch and control power terminal blocks. All of these components can be found using the Smart LVS system schematic. Your Smart LVS Quick Start Manual also has photos of each component, so they're easy to find. Be sure the Smart LVS has been installed according to the instruction and installation guide. Perform any inspections and tests needed for the specific application to be sure the Smart LVS is safe and ready for testing and setup. Then mount the remote HMI enclosure according to the industry standards outside of the arc flash zone, preferably in a controlled environment within view of the electrical room. Using the Smart LVS system schematic, check to be sure the following customer connections are made. First, the number 14 SIS control wire should run from the control power terminal blocks in the Smart LVS to the corresponding blocks in the remote HMI enclosure. This wire cannot occupy the same conduit as fiber optic or RJ45 communication cables. The silica glass fiber optic cable 50 125 or 62 and a half 125 with BFOC 2 and a half connectors must be run from the OLM in the Smart LVS to the OLM in the remote HMI enclosure. This cable can be run in the same conduit as the RJ45 communication cable. Finally, check to be sure the RJ45 cable runs from the network switch in the low voltage switch gear auxiliary compartment to the network switch in the remote HMI enclosure. The RJ45 cable can occupy the same conduit as the fiber optic cable, but not in the same conduit as the control power wire. As a standard, control power for the CPU, HMI, and other components in the remote HMI enclosure comes from the Smart LVS lineup. Most of the Smart LVS components require 24 volts DC. AC to DC converters are included with the Smart LVS system. A 1 kVA UPS also provides limited backup power for the Smart LVS system. For extended backup power, a separate, dedicated UPS power source is recommended. Once the power is detected, the Smart LVS component should start communicating within the smart devices. Next up, a system health check. On the COM15 modules, make sure green lights are on for both cubicle bus and profi bus when the breaker is in the test or connect position. Check the HMI to make sure there aren't any alarms. Then open and close all breakers using the breaker control screen.
You'll also want to activate and deactivate DAS, checking that the blue DAS light above the breaker is on when the DAS is activated. On the breaker controls screen, check to be sure all breaker times are in sync with the CPU master time. If the clocks are not in sync, press the sync time button. For more information on LED indications, please refer to your Smart LVS Quick Start Manual. Finally, let's take a look at a few ways you can configure your system. You can add users and set their security level access before logging on to the system. You'll also need to enter the WL Breaker Protective Parameter Settings. These are usually determined by a short circuit and coordination study. An arc flash study should also be done to determine arc flash maintenance mode settings. These settings equate to the parameter B breaker settings in the Smart LVS. Now that we've completed the necessary steps to start your Smart Low Voltage Switchgear, you're ready to put it to use. Please remember, if at any time you have questions about your Smart LVS system, Please refer to your Quick Start Manual or contact your Siemens representative.